Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Niamh, lovethatface.com, and thank you so much for watching our channel. Um, if you've never seen us before, again, I'm Dr. Joe Niamh, lovethatface.com. I'm a cosmetic facial surgeon in Richmond, Virginia, and my favorite procedure is face and neck lift. I do two or three facelifts a week, and we do almost 100 a year. I've done over 1,200 lifts, and this is uh, really my signature procedure. It makes me love going to work. So I have so many videos that deal with uh, face and neck lift surgery, and today we're gonna talk about a little topic, and that is chin implant augmentation, or chin augmentation with silicone chin implants at the same time of facelift surgery. So here's the situation, if you, drive around today and go about your normal business and, and you look at people next to you at the red light or look at the person at the counter of the 7-Eleven or somebody at the mall or any patient or any person, you'll notice that a good number of people have recessive chins, okay? They have chins that are just back a little bit. Now, when we're doing face and neck lift surgery, okay, it's like reupholstering a couch. And in that if the frame of the couch is, is not in good shape, your reupholstery job's just not gonna look good. So people that have prominent chins, that does several things. Number one, that takes up some of this skin. So if I wasn't bald, I'd already have a facelift because I got all this stuff here. But when I just make my chin bigger, that makes that look better. So having more chin, gives us a little bit more protrusive profile, and that's something that looks good in men and women, as long as it's not excessive. And so if you do a facelift on somebody that has a recessive chin, they're gonna look like they've always looked because they never had a chin. And when you talk to these people and you talk about a chin implant or chin augmentation, some of them will look you in the eye and like you're crazy. They'll say, well, what are you talking about? But so many of them will go, you know what, doc? I've always felt that, that my chin was recessive and I'd see pictures of myself at parties or whatever, and I always felt that I'd be a good candidate to do something there. The other people, they may just not realize it. So by doing a facelift, you know that that's a procedure from here to here, and it doesn't do anything in here. So it's just from here to here, and it tightens our jawline, and it does help our chin outline, however, it's, if you don't have a chin, it just, it, it just amplifies the fact that you don't. Putting a small chin implant in there can make a world of difference. Um, on face and neck lift surgery, we always have a, a little incision here for our platysmoplasty. We slide the chin right in there. It doesn't take 10 minutes extra as part of the procedure. And I think it really can make or break a case. And uh, I can tell you this, that I recommend it frequently with my uh, facelifts as I do cheek implants as well. And I can also tell you that I've recommended it to a lot of people. They didn't do it. They came back and they wish they did. And so we went back and did it. So if you're considering having face or neck lift surgery and you think that your chin may be recessive, that's a great time to consider having a uh, silicone chin implant. So I'm going to walk you through a little presentation here that details um, how we do chin implants, where we place them, how they're placed, and show you some before and after pictures where the chin implant made a huge difference on the face and neck lift. So again, I'm Dr. Joan I am too, lovethatface.com. I'm in Richmond, Virginia. We see patients from all over the United States and internationally. It would be my honor to be your surgeon. This is Dr. Joan I am too, lovethatface.com. So there are a lot of types of facial implants that I do and the chin implant is one of the most common. When you're doing a chin implant, it's very uh, important to know where to place it if you want it to work out well, and it's very important to place it straight. I fix a lot of crooked ones from people that did them incorrectly. They have to be in the midline, and there are many nuances. Also, I uh, fixate them all with a rigid fixation screw. So now I'm going to show you some patients with facelifts and chin implant, all done by me uh, in my surgery center. So here's a lady, and when you look at this, uh, these pictures, look at the neck and look at the chin. Uh, so the jowls and the neck and the chin is, is what we're concentrating on here. And you can see that the, a lot of these people just had basically no chin, and uh, we have not only tightened their loose skin and fixed their jowls, but we have uh, given them a chin. And some of these... Uh, pictures or older pictures um, 
of patients that I've uh, done years ago and some like this or ones that I've done very recently. So I have a, a mixture and uh, these implants do very well. They um, can stay in place uh, uh, for a lifetime. It's very rare that you have any significant problems and uh, it can make a big difference. Now doing a facelift without a chin implant uh, can make a difference but when you add that chin implant in the correct patient then it makes so much difference and if you go back and look at these pictures uh, closely you will have an appreciation for what it is that the chin implant does. Thank you very much for watching.